Thank you, Dean Gentry, for the kind introduction. Good morning. Greetings to families, faculty, staff, trustees, President Whitman, honored guests, and most especially, fellow classmates of the class of 2017. Thank you for joining us today. Two weeks ago, I thought I was nervous presenting my senior chemistry thesis to an audience of 50 familiar faculty members and peers during what I assumed to be my last bit of public speaking for quite a while. <laughs> However, I'm very honored, but more nervous today, to be speaking in front of more than 5,000 as a recipient of this award. Classmates, although we have had all different experiences at Hamilton, taken different courses, lived in different buildings, and been involved in different extracurricular activities, I can say with certainty that each of us has spent time walking down Martin's Way. Today, I invite you, along with me, on Martin's Way one last time to reflect both on our time on College Hill and what I believe makes this college so special. Parents, you may know Martin's Way as where you first saw the varsity streaking team during Accepted Students Day. For those in the audience that don't know, Martin's Way is a red brick path that was built to connect the campus. It spans from Kerner Johnson all the way to the Bundy Scott Fieldhouse where we are this morning. The path connects what was Hamilton and Kirkland, what we now know as the light and dark sides or the north and south sides of campus. It was named to honor Martin Caravano, the 16th president of Hamilton College, who presided from 1974 to 1988 during the period that Hamilton and Kirkland Colleges were integrated. As our walk begins down Martin's Way, I would like to start our journey walking out of Welland Performance Hall, where as classmates, we all sat together during freshman orientation. On our way outside from Welland, we first see the rock swing, which symbolizes the rocky yet somehow stable and secure journey we were all about to embark on. For many of us, the first stop on this journey was a freshman class in Kerner Johnson, or KJ. This was not the case for me, though. I could jokingly convince people that I had never stepped foot in KJ as I basically lived in the Taylor Science Center and Christian Johnson taking science and Spanish classes. That all changed this past fall though, when I enjoyed a communications class, the social history of advertising, with a fabulous professor, the late Dr. Tom Phelan. Dr. Tom's class left an imprint on me of the importance of a liberal arts education. He exemplified the characteristics of all Hamilton faculty who teach many academically diverse courses. We are fortunate to have such accessible and passionate professors to mold us into well-rounded thinkers who are able to connect concepts and ideas across multiple disciplines. As we leave KJ, we cross the bridge. We see the spectacular new Kennedy Arts Center, Beinecke Village, the Sadov Student Center, and the Little Pub. These are places where the arts come to life where student organizations find their homes, and where we can relax, eat, and drink with friends, faculty, and family. The names associated with these buildings and all the others we pass represent the extraordinary impact of the Hamilton family. The alumni legacy of financial and volunteer support has had amazing influence on the quality of our Hamilton experience. Today, we join this tremendous network, and our challenge will be to impact future Hamilton students as though who have come before have done for us. As we cross College Hill Road, we walk by the bronze map of the college that we will all finally be able to walk on later today. For the non-Hamiltonians, college superstition has taught us not to walk on the college map or else we are cursed not to graduate. Good news, it appears we have all avoided the curse. Next, we pass Soper Hall of Commons, we have, where we have been greeted by the employees during our many meals. They represent the importance of the entire college staff in making sure this school runs smoothly. They take pride in keeping us fed, our campus beautiful and safe, our bones warm during the long winters, and so much more. Across from Commons, we see Dunham Residence Hall, where many of our parents dropped us off and helped us move into our first college room. Let this stop serve as a reminder to all of us to be thankful for the support from our families who have made this journey possible. Next we see Love Field, Sue Ben Field, Blood Fitness and Dance Center, and Sage Rink, which reminds us of the role of athletics, both as athletes and fans cheering each other on. We remember our coaches, 
who have pushed us in the classroom as hard as they have on the fields, believing in the true student-athlete experience. Our last stop is the Bundy Scott Fieldhouse, where we all sit today for our graduation. This gathering is a true testament and celebration of all of our hard work over the past four years. We pass by many reminders of how special, to, of how special Hamilton College is, but I've yet to mention what I believe to be the most meaningful about our walk down Martin's Way. To me, it is the friends that we have encountered on this path. We have made these friends in our classrooms, studios and laboratories, in our dorms, on our sports teams, and through student organizations. These are the friends who we have stayed up late with studying, conversed around the dining tables with, and have challenged and engaged us to think about new ideas and perspectives. These friends have helped us through the tough times, celebrated the good times with us, and made us smile and laugh through it all. These are the lifelong friends who all sit next to us today. We have traveled down Martin's Way for four years together, but now we will go in new directions. As we move through life's paths, let us carry with us Hamilton memories and the enduring friendships made during our time on the hill. It has been an honor to walk along with you all these last four years. Thank you. <laughs>